The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the discipline of geography. This video will cover a little bit about the origins and history of the discipline, why geography has been useful in the past, the subject matter covered by it, and some key geographic concepts. So what is geography anyways? The word geography has its roots in the Greek language. The prefix geo means land or the earth, and graph means discourse or to write. When put together, it literally means earth description. But the study of geography covers much more than that. There's a common misconception that geography is about memorizing state capitals and describing where mountain ranges are. However, geography encompasses details and variables far beyond just that. The human Geog sciences and the physical ones. It allows geographers to examine the world of economics, health, ecology, climate, and others through the lens of how these phenomena exist in the real world. A famous geographer named Yifu Tuan stressed the importance of space and place in geography, aka the spaces across which phenomena stretches and the places at which things exist around the world. Geography studies anything and everything and analyzes the effect that their locations and extent have on those events or features. While in the past, most of geographic study involved surveying and creating maps of the world's terrains, in modern times there's a lot more to it. Today, we have a very good idea of where everything is and have mapped most of the world's existing landmass. In the 21st century, a very important component of geography involves the analysis of the spatial relationships and the realities of the variables being studied. How far back can we trace the study of geography? The earliest maps to date were created by the Babylonians from the ancient civilization of Mesopotamia, now modern-day Iraq, around the 9th century BC. Though many argue that the birth of geography as a field of study was in the ancient Greco-Roman civilization. Many famous thinkers from this period, like Homer, Plato, Aristotle, and others, took many approaches to this field of study. Some used empirical and mathematical evidence to describe the world, like Pythagoras, who was able to calculate that the Earth was a sphere as early as the 6th century BC. Others documented oral testimonies of sailors and merchants to map the world outside their empire around the Mediterranean. Though the Babylonians may have been the earliest cartographers or map makers, historical texts suggest that the ancient Indians and Chinese were also studying geography. What relevance has geography had on the world as we know it? Historically, knowledge of geography has provided individuals and nations great power, and there is no better example of this phenomenon than the geographic movements in the colonial era. During the age of exploration and colonialism, a refined study of cartography and geographic analysis gave the European powers of the time a great advantage over the locals they were conquering. Their familiarity with geography and cartography provided them with insight on locating, navigating, and documenting their new lands. Academics suggest that cartographers paved the way for trade and then colonialism in West Africa, as surveyors and early travelers created detailed, standardized, and distributable maps that thoroughly detailed the land cover and available resources in Africa. Today, some of the largest strides and newest technologies created in the sector of geography are done by the military. GPS was originally funded to provide the U.S. military with a tactical advantage over the Soviets during the Cold War arms race. As the development of new weapons, like ballistic missiles and nuclear bombs, required precise methods to measure locations for targeting. It is important to remember that in the past, the major drivers of progress in geography have been part of the ruling government or the military, even if we as civilians end up benefiting from that technology as time passes. So what does geography study? Unlike many other disciplines, geography studies all four spheres of the Earth, the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, and the biosphere. The lithosphere is the crust of the Earth. Its study includes analysis of terrain and plate tectonics. The hydrosphere is comprised of all the water on the planet. This includes the study of river movements, oceanic cycles, and the dynamic patterns of the global water distribution. The atmosphere is the air that surrounds the Earth. Atmospheric studies mostly involve the studies of global climate. The biosphere is made up of all living things on Earth. Its study involves the analysis of plants and animals, including man. Geography provides us with the tools to not only examine these four spheres separately, but to also understand how they work in tandem, both at large scales and at small ones. What does this mean for me, the student of geography? Through the study of geography, you will be exposed to all sorts of topics, from patterns of human behavior, to the physical characteristics of the Earth's surface, 
Geography will train you in a new way to look at the world. It'll teach you how to examine it spatially. It is as much a set of tools for analysis as it is a discipline in its own right. In conclusion, geography is the study of space and place. It can study any phenomena. Its discipline has its origins in ancient times. And it provides a powerful set of tools that give a tactical advantage to its users. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video.